So you know that in Egypt, rain is a legitimate excuse not to go to work. That's adorable. But so, uh, so everyone in the study abroad, and it's like 20, 25 people, gets extreme food poisoning. Um, more or less. I mean, the symptoms were the same. It was something else. But effectively, everybody's puking and, you know, shitting themselves and whatever. I'm just running around drinking my milk, taking care of everyone. Uh, and so, like, poor Shell was, you know, bedridden for a week, maybe a week and a half, something like that. Um, it was, it was bad. It's valuable, but has no other purpose. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, let's see. Does it say, if I search pumpkin, does it give me a golden pumpkin? Uh, let's check Spirit's Eve. It's just worth 2,500 G, apparently. Uh, diarrhea and vomiting. It's bad. Like, if you've ever had, like, legit food poisoning, and I had it right before I went to Croatia, so I, like, ugh. It's not good. It is very much not good. Um, but so, like, everybody was bedridden. Lots of people went to the, the hospital. It was not a good experience and you know here i am going around taking care of everyone for a week and a half like even the professors were down so uh at one point the professor just like sent out an email with uh with like the next assignment and he's like you know sorry i can't have class today i'm sick and somebody else from class just wrote back cc everybody no as uh, in response to a hey, warp totem farm so that means i can just warp back home I should actually see if I can make some of those. Um, but, you know, there's just like a very vehement response from everybody else. It's like, nope, super sick. And I turned in the assignment like the week later and the de everybody just looked at me like I was a monster. Because the teacher had legitimately forgotten about it. Like, everybody was delirious. Okay. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was just weird and like, the hey, last day of fall. Sucks though, because if we had one more day, we get all of these cranberries again. Oh well. But uh, t -t 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 uh oh, looks like I get some wine to work with here. I don't feel like going back. We'll collect these, so I'll just throw in the regular cranberries. It's fine. We need to make more of these. Um. But so at one point, I heard one of the professors confronting the uh, the guide. Uh, more or less asking them, and it's like, so why didn't you, uh, why didn't you warn us that the water was going to be, like, poison? And they're like, oh, eh, we thought you'd be fine. As, like, a hey, large brown egg. I don't need that. As, like, half the students are in the hospital, uh, have been to the hospital to get their stomachs pumped or, like, you know, get drugs. Th so they stopped just shitting themselves constantly. It was... It was bad. It was dumb. The program was weird. They like... I don't know. It's a weird country. I really enjoyed being there, but boy. There were some things that happened and I was just like, a, Huh. This doesn't seem like a reasonably smart way to manage a program. But I guess it hasn't backfire backfired yet, so nobody would care. But still, like, uh, one of them was like, Yeah, so... We have insurance here, but for the most part, it doesn't work. So, uh, don't do anything stupid or die. Uh, so we had... Uh, oh, we had somebody. Something happened to somebody. Um, I don't even remember what it was. I think she actually had to, like, get surgery. Uh, but for the surgery she needed, they were going to have to, uh, fly her to Italy. Uh, so they could actually do the proper surgery, because they had the tools. But the last doctor that was capable of doing X surgery, uh, was not, uh, was, like, had not been, there had not been one in Dubrovnik for quite some time. So, apparently, like, her father was a surgeon or something like that, came out and did it herself, uh, himself. Uh, but it was just sitting there being like, so, one of our students is, like, legit dying here, and the response is, let her dad come out and do it himself. I just, it was just weird. It made sense, but it was just like, 
I've, I've never thought of, like, a hospital not being able to... It was, like, just basic appendicitis or something. Too, it was, like, dumb. Like, the, almost standard around here, but for whatever reason, it was... Oh, right, we're gonna... We're going to the mine. Uh, for whatever reason, there, it was, like, a big deal. There's also one, uh, one chick who, like, fell and cracked one of her teeth in half. Uh, on the first night that she was in Croatia. That was bad. <laughs> and they actually had to take the tooth out. They tried gluing it together. Like, that was their response. And they're like, well, it's dying. So, uh, we're gonna take it out. So she just was missing one of her two front teeth for the entire trip. That was not good. That was so weird. It was fun, but just so many, like, odd things. Okay, so we need some more gold. We're gonna go back, we're gonna... Oh, no, we need iron now. We're gonna go back, we're gonna get my hoe upgraded. How many injuries did you guys get? <sighs> Comparatively low, the whole, like, water... Uh, the whole poisoning thing really count, uh, boosted up the count. But for the most part, was more or less an outlier. Uh, let's go town. Yeah, appendicitis is still treated by surgery and can and will kill the patient if not done right. Yep. I had a friend that, uh, whose appendix actually, I think, actually, I want to say it burst on him or ruptured or something like that when we were in college. I was there for, I was, um, I was on campus for spring break with a couple other people and he was just like wandering around, uh, he was wandering around the, um, the hallways kind of daily looking sicker and sicker and we're like, dude, you should go to the hospital. But the problem is, like, his dad was a retired security guard, and I don't know if his mother was in the picture or anything like that, so insurance was, like, very much not an easy thing for him to acquire. Um, but, poor dude, I mean, had no choice, obviously. But he spent, he spent the first two weeks, I want to say, of spring quarter in the hospital. That is not a good way to start any kind of year. I'm glad I've got the Golden Axe, though. This is a hell of a lot faster. But yeah, so we're gonna start Operation... Um, we're gonna start Operation... Mine every... Uh, chop down everything. We should probably also go watch the TV. I think I could get, get some other stuff. Did Wander really finish Digimon and win? I haven't finished Digimon yet. I have maybe one or two sessions to go, but I'm so far ahead in the series that it's not worthwhile. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering dish, artichoke dip. Cool. Not that useful though, but still. Yeah, so I've got like one session left, but I've still got like ten more episodes. Oh right, yeah, let's go to the actual secret one. The ac actual secret forest. Uh, where's my hoe? Oh, right, my hoe's being upgraded, so I can't do- I can't dig that one up. Okay. Um, uh, but, yeah, I have so much backlog for that series that I just don't wanna. Which is unfortunate, because I've actually got, uh, even more of a backlog for this series than Digimon. I just am hooked, and it's bad. Hey, I've got enough money to buy whatever the hell this person has. Presuming any of it's good? Iridium Sprinkler! Don't know about the rest of this. I think I'll buy a sandfish. I don't care about furniture. I should probably look at it or something. Gotoro Empire. Why do you think they're so expensive? Guess we'll buy the puffer fish too. I don't know when we're gonna fish these things, but I might as well buy them, seeing as I've got a stupid amount of money. Oops. I'm looking in the wrong direction. Yeah, the fisher for the community center. Exactly. That's what I was thinking about. Okay, that's eight hardwood. Oh yeah, we'll have no problem getting the stable after this. What am I gonna do tomorrow when you need to plant? And hoe the ground, but the hoe is being upgraded. You mean... Start a winter? Can you plant crops during the winter? I don't think you can.
Like, I think, I think I'm kind of on my own for the winter. And probably gonna be a little bit bored. Oh, I just realized I'm carrying around a whole slew of mayonnaise here. Well, I should probably... Oh, there we go. Now we can switch things around a bit. We've got this, like, weird statue that I can do nothing with. Alright. Oh! That's a funky mushroom. Chanterelle. Never heard of it. This is super relaxing music. That sli slime is trapped forever. I just realized. Wow, I was expecting something a little bit, uh... I was expecting a little bit more than that, but still. Okay, so apparently the sandfish is fairly rare and it's a good thing I did that. Cool! I'm happy. Well, let's see. That area stumps respawn every two days. Wait. Is there more there? Go down back left. Did I did I miss something along the way? I'll go check just because I have nothing better to do today. But yeah, this is a good good source of hardwood. You're not wrong, I got 16. Okay. Oh, you're right. No. There's at least two more stumps. Where? The pond right side path through the trees. I... Middle bottom? You guys are hella confusing. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, well, we've got our slime. Oh, I see. I'd probably go through over here. There we go. Okay, there's the remaining stumps. Cool. Doesn't look like there's much else in here. Just a slime and another chanterelle. Which I should figure out if I need for something, but still. Okay. Whoa, just suddenly got a lot brighter for whatever reason. Okay. <sighs> I mean, it'd be really cool if I woke up the next day and all of my cranberries had popped and then disappeared, but I don't think that's going to happen. Unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, so we're going to go we're going to want to go drop off some stuff. Honestly, I think I'm going to hold on to the sunfish. Um and the sand whatever or the the pufferfish and the sand thing up until we've got um uh, the winter forage done. Because we're gonna have a bunch of that soon. Whoops. Well, whatever. We have so many seeds at this point, I don't really have to worry about being too conservative here. Though I will make... I will regrow this part of the forest legitimately again. Or, no, we'll probably turn this into a, um... We'll probably turn this spot into the new, uh, syrup farm. Not that it helps too much, but still. Okay. As that is a super good area. You're not wrong. Let's see. How do you know this is American weather? Cuz... Uh... I mean, it... It's summer for you Australians right now, isn't it? Then of course it would be American, because yeah, actually, how does how does that even work for uh, for? Well, I mean, it, I guess it works fine. Your year just starts summer, and kind of loops f through slightly differently. Yeah, kinda. I've never been to Australia. In fact, I've never actually been. I've never actually been to. Um, any southern hem uh any country in the southern southern hemisphere love to at some point but travel is expensive 
Like, if I could do what I did to DC, like, all the time, I'd probably travel at least once a year out of country, but... Now, what's probably gonna happen is, hopefully at some point I'll be able to leverage my, like, YouTube cred. Um... I'll be able to leverage my YouTube cred to get invites to, like, uh, conventions and stuff across the country. And I'll probably still have to play, like, pay plane fare and stuff. But at least it'll be like, I have a reason to go apart from just, like, because I want to. It's easier to justify dumping a lot of money when I have, like, a quote-unquote business expense pushing me along. Okay. This forest is expansive. Uh, everything wants to kill you. Yes, this is true. Everything probably does want to kill me. Okay. Yeah. Now, the, the biggest issue is, of course, plane fare is stupid expensive. Especially, I, I can't imagine it's cheap to fly from, like, you know, the east coast of the United States to Australia. It's probably, I don't know. I should probably figure out which is... I, I should probably figure out which is cheaper. At some point. Though a lot of me still wants to go to, like, Thailand first, just because that's the number one on the bucket list. Originally, Shell wanted to go to Thailand for our honeymoon. Uh, but that's super hard to do when the country is under... is currently undergoing a fair amount of, like, political unrest because of varying religious groups fighting over each other. CC not to get killed, just don't go outside. <laughs> I mean, it's that's pretty true, honestly, but still. I'll have to look at these things. That was an active night tonight. I guess it is like a Friday night and whatever. Okay. I'm trying to take out take out all the like little stuff. Whoops. But yeah, getting the gold max was totally a good choice. Because we would have been, we would have been way out of energy by this point. All right, so let's see how uh, winter goes. I'm gonna have to remember to feed everybody, but we we'll, we'll definitely have enough money to pay for extra hay if we need to, and we will. But still, okay. Uh, do I have anything I can just drop off here? I don't care about. I can drop off a chanterelle. Can I drop off a? No, probably can't drop off a mushroom. This will just drop off a uh, silver star berry for the time being. I'm not picky. Friday night. Oh, it's Sunday. Shh. Whoa! Hey, we got gold star mayonnaise. Uh, oh, that's probably because of the big egg. That's why. Cool. I like that. Okay, bedtime. Time to lose all of our crops to the winter. What time is it now? Two. Eh. It's cheaper to fly to Australia from the States than fly across the country. Really? Huh. I'll have to take a look at that. You also won't even see the political unrest in Thailand. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I have no idea. My shit's gone. Sadness. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, I wonder if this killed all the saplings. Or some of them. I'll have to take a look at these things later. Because I really would like to do more international travel, but boy is it expensive too. Just like, even if it is cheap, it's... I do not make much money as a YouTuber. Okay, let's close that door. So you guys should be all happy in here. Make sure you're fed, and I think we're good there. There we go. We got the buck bucks. So supposedly there's an incubator. You know, where's this duck egg? There it is. We might as well let the incubator go and get another duck. Yeah. Uh, it's not because Australia's cheap, it's just because the prices to fly internally in the US are ridiculous. Maybe? I guess, I, I flew to DC and back for 50 bucks, so, uh, like, both ways, which feels really cheap to me, but, uh. 
Uh, it also cost me like a couple thousand to fly to and from uh, Croatia. So I don't know. I'll have to take a look at these things. Ow. I have a cut in my jaw because uh, we had these like really cool... Ooh, I can make the stable finally. And I think I'm going to actually put the stable right next to my house as soon as these jam jar things are done. Okay, uh, let's drop everything off. My inventory is full of nonsense. Uh, seeds. Nope, that's a hazelnut. Pine cone. Acorn. Maple. Oh, right. We should probably drop the eggs off. Make that. Make that mayonnaise. Uh, drop some other things off. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, we want a white egg at some point, but we haven't gotten lucky with one. Uh, let's see. Drop that off. Okay, so diamond goes in. Mushrooms go in. Wine goes in. Okay. So we want to do here. Managing all of this nonsense is starting to get tiresome. But we'll probably be done with it soon. Okay. My nose is whistling when I breathe in. It's uncomfortable. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to say my hoe is done, so let's grab all of these. I was supposed to bust them up, but I guess I must have forgotten. Uh, is there any other geodes I've got in my inventory? The answer is no. Well, um, we need more iron ingot ingots. Yeah. Let's start working on the iron. And it's about time to go. Okay, I have no idea what else I need to do here. Oh, right. Uh, we might as well chop this down. Yeah, so we'll, we'll move the beehives. I'd like to move the jam jars. We gotta do that in a bit. Okay, so where do I put them? I guess I'll just put them one row down. they don't put out very often. Yeah, so I'm just gonna line the front of this busted up house with beehives. I have no idea if I'll get more, and then I'll put flowers directly in front of them. Okay. Let's see what else I want to do. Um... Not a whole heck of a lot. Oh, that icon's for being a Twitch admin. I gotcha. Okay, I'd never, uh, there's Kazzy in chat that has a, uh, a shield. I'd never seen it before, because I've never seen a Twitch admin in chat. Okay, you know what? Let's get rid of the, this thing. We don't need it. I'll put that there. I'll put the charcoal kiln somewhere. Probably over here next to the, probably over here next to the cave, just, just because. You know what? I haven't actually visited the bats in, like, weeks. Sweet, uh, salmon berries. No. Okay, unfortunately, I was expecting some better fruit than this, but it's mostly just forage fruit. Which, I guess, makes sense. Uh, but still. Okay, so let's... Let's drop the iron off. Okay. Yeah, once the... Once the preserves jars are done, then we'll move it around. Oh, that's the apple tree. I was, I was considering chopping it down, because it's like, why is that so close to my... Uh, why is that so close to my crops? Why haven't I why haven't I gotten rid of it yet? Nope. <laughs> That's a bad move. Okay, and let's go get the hoe so we can finally dig up these worms. I like how she's just standing around in a t-shirt, despite the fact that the snow has just suddenly fallen on the ground. Okay. Let's see. Please tell me you're done. Damn it. I'll be back. So what do we want to do? Let's go back home. Uh, tomorrow we'll do... Tomorrow we'll do the desert. Pick up my tool and go to the desert or something. Okay. So let's grab this mayonnaise. Hey! Yep, big eggs make gold star mayonnaise. Nice! Not like it really matters. I mean, at this point, I don't need money. It's just kind of a fun thing. I should probably get rid of these trees. I can't imagine the, the tappers. Eh, you know what? The tappers might actually... Um, the tappers might still give you uh, sap even during the winter. It makes sense. 
Probably. And I'm not going to bother with the little saplings, because I'd rather let them grow. We don't need this space yet, but I want to take care of most of the big trees. And then we'll reorganize later. Because as soon as the little ones are... As soon as the little trees are grown, then we'll chop them down. And after a little while longer, we'll be good to go. Hopefully they at least do grow during the winter. I can't imagine that they wouldn't. Well, I don't know. My character is just whiffing his axe at nothing for a little while. What am I even swinging at now? That's probably a rock. I can't, yep, totally a rock. I was like, I'm I'm whiffing it. I'm whiffing it hard. It is not whiffing in the direction I want to go. Uh, do you want spoilers? I know to grow crops year-round. Presumably, I gotta get the greenhouse. But I'm, I'm gonna be using that greenhouse for a very specific, uh, purpose here. Mainly, I'm gonna use that greenhouse for only ancient fruits. And we're going to have an insane ancient fruit farm by the time I'm done with it. If I'm lucky. It's gonna take forever to grow, but eh. Does anybody know if this game does actually have a hard time limit on it, or do you just keep going? Because that would be kind of interesting at some point. Not that I really care if... I don't care that much that there's, there's a time limit. Uh, but it would be it would be nice to know just so I could like speed up some things. Like romance, because I don't... I don't care. What do you think of the new Ghostbusters trailer? Uh, it exists apparently. Oh, uh, that's, that's new. You <laughs> grass in your greenhouse. Well, someone loves their animals then. I just have a ton of hay. I'll deal with it. Oops. Well, didn't mean to do that, but still. But yeah, I've got a bunch of I've got a bunch of ancient fruits, uh, seeds saved up. So what I'm I'm probably gonna do is just turn that into an ever cyclical ancient fruit uh, farm, all woman cast. You know, I think I heard about that and then didn't do much with it. Well, like I didn't look into it some more because I was just like, a, eh, sounds okay. It'll either be really bad or actually decent. Probably really bad. But I don't know. I feel like Ghostbusters is something that probably belonged better in the past and won't make the uh, transition to modern times particularly well. I could be wrong, but still. I don't know, I'm trying to think of like other other shows and whatever. Uh Men in Black. I think like I think Men in Black should never have had the third movie added. It was okay. The villain was cool, but still. I was at 100 likes and almost 300 dislikes. Ooh. Like, maybe if they, they had the self-awareness and the writing chops of, like, the Deadpool writers, they could pull it off. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, other modern remake revival stuff. Oh, we're actually out of energy. Fuck it. Uh, I've got the... I got the strange bun. Eat the strange bun. Problem solved. Okay. Men in Black 3 was great. I don't know. It didn't have the same magic. Like, I didn't like Men in Black 2 or 3. They were okay. Men in Black 1 was solid. And I feel like they were... I, I feel like they were phoning in it a little bit by the end of it. Um... I don't know. Like, for me, Men in Black was really cool in the beginning when, uh... What was it? Jay? Wasn't even, like... Uh, agent yet, or at least not properly. Like, the whole, like, interview system was awesome. I, I was re-watching clips of it a while back, and, uh, one of my favorite scenes from Men in Black 1, um, because that's the only one I remember. I remember 3, it just was weird. Um, but, uh, one of my favorite scenes was, like, right as they're gi being given the written exam, I believe it was, and you have, uh, you have the the men in black, uh, you know, people watching over, and they're they're. It's like it's Jay, and then um, 
It's it's Jay and then like a bunch of military guys, if I remember. Yeah, they were totally military guys. And so, you know, they're all in uniform. And Jay is just like there in uh, his street clothes, his dumb jacket. I remember he had like a really dumb jacket on, which I thought was totally cool when I was younger. And I look back at it and I'm like, man, that was stupid looking. But it fit perfectly. I mean, it was 90. Um, but so, uh, you know, you have all of these like... All, all of these military guys just like in the dumb egg chairs trying to uh trying to write or whatnot and um and then you know Jay drags over the table and then offers to share with one of the military guys and you know, it's like you want to share or something like that and I just thought it was perfect because it was I don't know that that was like the kind of perfect humor as far as I was concerned